challenge to stay warm before the race, so I think it, tonight was about um, you know who could face the elements better. Um, that event's always a gauge of how in shape you are, and I'm pretty happy with that double today, especially considering we just came down from altitude. Um, I think it's a, a great way to start off the last push to Kazan and Rio. So, I'm, you know, not really a whole lot of stuff, I think. I could have done better. I think there's a little more in the tank there, but kind of fighting a little bit of a cold right now, so I wanted to be able to conserve as much as I could. Not really, I mean, you kind of have to keep your head down and focus on what we do. The rest of the world kind of does their trials a little bit different than we do. So it's not anywhere out of the ordinary to have those guys going as fast as they are right now. Um, 408 is pretty standard for Higino. Uh, I think that you know going 409 low for me last summer was a surprise, and I think um, I'm in better physical shape at this time last year than I was at this time last year. So if I can build off of that and go 408 or 407 at Kazan, I think that'd be that's a realistic goal, and um, you know just got to make it happen and execute. Not necessarily just freestyle training. It's more just trying to do everything I can to get myself in superb physical condition. Um, the mile obviously helps with that, especially when you can race with some of the faster guys like Michael Klee and Michael McBroom. You know, they've got a great history of being able to swim events like that. So even if I could get in and toss it up with them, I'd be pretty happy with that.